tell you something about basic training of sport horses. And what, um, what I learned is that the most important thing is that you realize that your horse is really a multi-talent. Don't specialize too early. Not the rider and not the horse. If we have looked in earlier days, all the old school masters or the generals from the military, wherever they come from, they all had to do dressage, jumping, cross country, everything. So if you look in the history, it was totally normal for them that they don't specialize. But then there came a modern time where you went to the auction and heard this three-year-old horse is a dressage horse. Nobody knew if he, have, if he can jump or had jumped him before. And the same with the riders. If the riders have done everything from the beginning, they have a much better feeling for the horse, much better seat, and really have a chance one day to say, I tried it all, but I prefer this. It's very important that step by step you do exercises to build up the muscles that they are healthy, they always must have the willing attitude because they feel good, and then they are ready for the next adventure. If it's an eventer who has to jump in a boat in the water, over a boat in the water, or the three-year-old youngster where he just has trust forward, the willingness to go, ready what we are doing today. And the most important phase is the warm-up. Only if the horse really is active from behind, over the back, stretching into your hand, neck downwards, and then the back is so loose and swinging that the horse is ready to work. And then later he can carry it because the same muscles we stretch, we later strengthen, that the self-carriage can be proved while you give with your reins to see, oh, will he stay there alone or does he st still want some contact and wants help from my hand? No, it's his job. He must carry himself. Our four-year-old horse from Casey and the six-year-old horse from Rebecca are not warmed up. So while we are talking a bit about Cavaletti work, we give them the chance in walk that they just get the horses used to the atmosphere, that they see that here are now some poles and some cavaletti. Because I think the most interesting thing is how would we start with the horse in the warm-up phase and work in the warm-up phase with cavaletti. I don't know who of you has already experienced with cavaletti. And so we thought that we start from the beginning it's very important that you have the right material. So this is a good example of material. Mm. I prefer Cavalettis what, who have a wooden pole. Wooden pole because it's the same education like in jumping. When a horse hits a pole in jumping, they know it hurts and they will react. And horses educate themselves it's much more important that they learn their jobs. So when they hit them, they must know, oh, I have to watch out, look exactly where I put my feet on. Same like in jumping, if they hit the rail, they must know, oh, next time I have to be a little bit more careful. If this is plastic or uh, metal material, which makes a loud noise, then they get a bit afraid. 